So Randy from Bulgaria asks, so how to know potassium without a soil test? If we look at turf quality by eyes and apply only nitrogen, we can, we can fall off the cliff. How to prevent it? Two to one in decay. Well, um, potassium deficiencies in turf grass are pretty easy to diagnose, pretty easy to see. Uh, I'm still looking for that photo from my Twitter account that I can't find. I have a photo of a very clear photo of a leaf that's, that's exhibiting potassium deficiency. Very easy to, to identify. I'll, you know what I'll try to do by, on, by tomorrow night, I'll try to, I'll make a point of finding that photograph or if I can't find it, I'll find some way to show you on Thursday night, the Thursday night show, what a potassium deficiency looks like. And I know Randy, you're not going to be able to watch it live, but you can watch it the next morning. Um, of what it looks like in the in the in the plant, which leaf it occurs on first, and what the leaf looks like when there's a potassium deficiency. It's not particularly difficult to to diagnose. Okay, um, but let's say worst case scenario that you can't diagnose it. You don't you don't have the skills, or you don't want to learn the skills, or whatever the case is. And you're like, you know what? I I'm not confident that I can actually diagnose that. If that's the case then just do a two to one in decay. And if you have a deficiency, that's probably going to cure it. Don't do a one to one. Don't do a one to two. You don't need to go out with straight potassium at, at three pounds of potassium. You don't need to do that. So if, if you're so inclined, if, if you know, I, I, I agree. I mean, you know, if you don't know how to diagnose it and you, you're unable, you're not confident, then just put out two to one in decay. <laughs> okay. And just put out a little bit of potassium. Don't put out a lot. And, if you had a potassium deficiency, that would solve it.